Alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, I'm alive. Fucking taxi driver. Show him to his new home. Who threw that? Fucking savages! Let go! Wait, wait, that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Ashley! Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him. not so long ago. I looked up Bishwari, but I couldn't bring myself to see her. Not after all these years. You always regret those decisions when they die, don't you? Anyway, I was there with Deplore, or rather Paul Harmon. He invited me to his home to meet his family, to see the other side of him. It was incredible to see the man behind the man. Paul, the loving father and husband. I was as jealous as I was happy for him. We went to his daughter's school to see a recital. There was his darling Ashley, the light of his life. I could see the tears welling up in his eyes. So proud, so much love. It really made me think. What if I had followed Ishwari? What if that was you, clumsily stumbling through a piano recital as I looked on teary-eyed through a viewfinder, capturing every precious moment? It always hits you when it's too late, RJ. Always when they've gone. 